Hi, and thanks for watching. Um, I just got our new Nemo Meta two-person tent. Now this is brand new for Nemo's, Nemo's line for uh, 2010. And I pre-ordered it, I just got it yesterday. Before I take it out somewhere where we really have to depend on it, I decided to set it up in the backyard, and fortunately we've had a lot of crappy weather, which is just what you want for testing a tent. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is the DWR on it. Um, the water repellent on it is excellent, far better than that of the Marmot. Um, here, let me give it a little shake and you can just see how well it sheds. Now the water just beads and flows and beads and flows and it continued to all night through the rain. I was very impressed with that. This tent is not sil nylon, it's polyurethane and uh, it sheds a little better. It's also much quieter than the sil nylons which flap so loud they keep you up all night. This is not really a competitor to the uh, Marmots, though that's what we got it to replace it with. It's more of a competitor to like a Henry Shires, a tarp tent, or a double rainbow, something like that. Uh, it is 36 square foot inside with two 11 square foot vestibules. And on that note, it only comes in at three pounds, five ounces with the stakes and everything. Now it is a trekking pole tent, which you have to have anyway. And I'll go ahead and show you how the vestibules work in the setup over here. They're going to fit into these reinforced sides and they have grommets on the inside. Perfectly symmetrical, so you have two doors, two 11 square foot vestibules, which is more than enough. I brought out here my 85 liter pack, which is about the largest anybody's going to use in backpacking. Here we are with an Ether 85. and lots of room. Only half the vestibule taken up. Still room for your shoes or anything else that you want to leave out there. Uh, it's multi-configuration multi with the guy line attached to the pocket. You can take it all the way back on both sides. If you try and get a side shot here, I'd like to show you. The trekking poles themselves come in at a really steep cant to the point that in a lot of rain and stuff, last night we had it with just the one side of the fly open all through the storm and it didn't get wet at all. Notice it leans out, and this hangs over about seven to 10 inches, which is quite fantastic and better than you're gonna find in any of the tarp tents. Now that said, it's not really a tarp tent either. In fact, it's pretty much a hybrid between the two. If you come inside, I'll show you a little bit about the uh, size and a little bit more, you know, what makes it such a great hybrid. Anybody who's spent any time inside of a double rainbow or any of those other small tarp tents, the single walls really fill in with a lot of condensation. And uh, in this case, it's single walled on two sides and then it's double walled on the other two sides. Uh, with that said, even on the single wall sides, it has full length vents all the way down as well as vents up here, which I'll show you when we come out. Looking at the size, it's incredibly generous, more than you need. And uh, I was noticing last night I was laid down in it. And here I was laid down in my tent and I put my hands up and I could not reach the top of the tent. So it's quite large. Both vestibules are absolutely huge. Um, really happy with it. It's uh, fully seam taped, completely waterproof and uh, we're going to leave it set up and through some of these big storms and see how it holds up to the wind. Really strong. Far stronger than a lot of the uh, pulled tarp tents that you see. You know, and these trekking poles, um, I use the black diamonds, but the strength of your trekking poles will determine the strength of your tent in this situation. Come look at the vents. These vents go into the vestibule and, um, you know, quite large, you know, larger than you're going to see anywhere else, you know, and I've been really happy with those. It also has the full length side vents through the polyurethane, and these are cinchable. Now, in the really heavy rain, we had these completely uncinched to try and let some of this venting in. And this is all no seam mesh, so you're not gonna get any bugs no matter how you have it configured. But we had it loosened down as much as we could and we could feel a lot of wind through it. But what happened was with the rain and the puddling, we ended up with a puddle about like this on here. That said, completely dry inside, completely dry to the touch. You know, it continued to perform flawlessly. But in a strong storm, cinch these in and that's gonna really allow that to shed a little better. Notice it holds it a little steeper angle. And all of these features are fully symmetrical. We have these same vents over here and the full length vents on the other side. Three pounds, five ounces, use this trekking poles, which you're gonna have anyway. 
Um, been absolutely impressed with it. I'm gonna put another review after this week goes by. Um, the only last thing I wanted to show you was the uh, stakes that it comes with. These are basically copies of the MSR needle stake. These are DAC feather lights, extremely strong, extremely lightweight, and really everything about this tent, from the polyurethane shell to the uh, 30 denier floor, has been uh, absolutely of the highest quality. Uh, very happy with it. I'm going to continue to test it. Please look forward to another review in a week once it's been here a little while, but uh, pre-ordered it, just got it yesterday, set it up. Uh, these are my initial expectations. Thank you so much for watching.